Where exactly does earwax come from? Is it dust and dirt that fall into the ear? Or is it entirely produced by your body? When the ear canal skin itself is closely examined under a microscope, one can find a multi-layered wall of debris composed of dead skin cells, hair, and of course, earwax itself. When all this debris is removed down to the skin itself, it almost looks like scales of a reptile. This topmost layer of skin is actually dead epidermal skin cells which constantly shed. In fact, humans lose over 1 million skin cells into the ear canal an hour. Eventually, as the microscope pans around, tiny pores from sebaceous and modified apocrine sweat glands found only in the outer one-third of the ear canal skin can be found which secrete a waxy substance called cerumen. This substance in combination with dead skin cells create what we all know as earwax. Major components of earwax include around 60% keratin from dead skin cells, 20% long-chain fatty acids, alcohols, and squalene, and finally 10% cholesterol. Different concentrations of these common ingredients can lead to earwax with different odors as well as how wet or dry it is. The higher the lipid concentration, the more wet the earwax. Check out cerumen actively being secreted from a pore here. Although many consider earwax to be a nuisance, it actually provides a protective role assisting in cleaning and lubrication as well as providing protection against bacteria, fungi, and water.